What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stickers and Chris, I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys here today. Today here we have the Air Jordan 5 Shatter Back Board. I'm going to give you guys a quick 360 before starting on this video. A quick one. Put reverse. Alright, pause, pause, pause. As always guys, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. It comes a long way. So all you guys got to do is like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Make sure to follow your boy at, uh, on Instagram at ChrisMIA underscore, which is my personal. If you guys want to follow the sneaker pages, the sneaker pages are our Sneakers and Chris on Instagram and TikTok. And that's pretty much it. Aside from that, let's jump straight into this video. You know what the box as we always do. You have your typical Jordan box, Jordan 5 box. You have it, the black lid with the jump in in red. And then the air right here with the jump in in red. And you have the um, black and gray cement type of thing going on. On the bottom, you got air right here, jump in also. And you have under, this is how the under looks. And then where the label is at. Bring it closer so you guys can read, make sure to take a picture, screenshot, get all the information so you guys can know how exactly the label is supposed to look. I'll also read it for you guys. The label reads, Air Jordan 5 Retro, size 12. Uh, men's and women's is a 13.5. Um, retail is $90 plus tax, that'll be around you 203, depending on your area. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you open it, you just have the paper wrapping and the shoe itself. Now that we done with the box, let's jump straight into the shoe. So a little detail, this shoe released today, October 2nd, and men's size seven and up. No GS, no women's. This shoe released on sneakers at 10 o'clock. So I hope you guys did copy if you guys really wanted it. And um, aside from that, you had other stores like, um, you had, I, I was able to get this pair off Unknown Miami. Um, you had Kiv that was on raffles. You had Shoe Palace that was on raffles. You had Finish Line that was on raffles and other stores, you know. But aside from that, let's jump straight into the colorway. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys came for to see how it looks, you know. So, boom. The colorway, let me adjust the lighting for you guys. All right, so the colorway, you guys can see, it's like a, I'll say a cell, a white cell um, colorway all around the whole shoe. And you have some orange, shadow backboard orange on the bottom, the midsole, um, where the teeth at, you have the teeth and the gray and, and black speckles right here. And then you have some, some black stitching with the jump man the material wise on the upper you have a soft leather material i'll definitely say this is a different type of material moving up to the laces you have some white laces and behind it you have like i'll say the cages behind it as we usually get on the five and then on the side you have kind of a mesh thing going on like the off-white vibe i feel like a lot of people have been sleeping on this shoe because it kind of look like the off-white i feel like a lot of people said that too that this shoe kind of the material wise is kind of like the off-white material and yeah i don't know why people are sleeping on it but aside from that let's jump straight to in the front back to the front you have your lace lock clear lace locks look amazing when it's clear and you have the jump man and orange right here with the 3m um tongue which is pretty nice and then going to the back of the tongue you have the upside down air jordan written in orange and, and that silver and then in the end so you have the end so in orange with the jumping in black and then the midsole like i said you have some black and then you have some orange with the bubble right here and let's go straight to the also you have the also and that old vintage look colorway which i think is pretty clean we also had it on the i think we had we had this on the off-white also and you have the jordan in black right here which is pretty dope pretty clean all right so now that we're done reviewing the details and the colorway and the material of the shoe let's jump straight into rating on this shoe i'm gonna give this shoe a it's not too bad, you know, it looks way better in hand. I feel like a lot of people slept on this shoe because um, of the fact that the pictures wasn't doing the justice. So I'm gonna give this shoe a seven. Seven is per perfectly fine. Um, I would say they should have just called it a different name. I do get the fact that that orange vibe, the, they want to keep up the shadow backboard, but let's give this shoe a different name. I don't, I don't feel like it falls in that category of shadow backboard um, because if it did, 
it would have way more hype more people would have wanted but it don't so just a, a, a better name would have been better for this shoe but yeah i think but i think it's pretty nice let me know what you guys think below do you guys think this is a seven do i think it's worth copping also definitely if you're a fan of jordan fives if you love jordan fives that's one of your top Jordans. Definitely go out there and copy it. It's pretty worth it if you're a fan. But if you're not really a fan like me, I would say pass. Um, we seen, well, for me, I've seen better fives. Well, I'm not a fan, so I'm not, that's why I'm saying this. But for me, I feel like I'll probably wear something else. I'll probably want to wear more of the off-white fives than this, obviously. But obviously, if you can't touch the off-white fives, this would be a too bad colorway to go get. You can match this up with pretty a lot of good outfits, I'll say also. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys did copy. You guys really wanted it. I do see selling out eventually, even though the hype is not on there. But eventually, it is going to sell out pretty soon. You might see them in store for a couple, I'll say a couple of weeks. Probably a week or so. They're probably going to be sitting for two weeks, the max. But eventually, these are going to sell out. And because of the Shadow Backboard name, background, eventually, the hype going to go up later in time in life. So don't sleep on it guys if you guys really want it eventually these type of shoes always do this it's um it's like a break on the release people sleep on them and later on whether tiktok or something blow it up the the price go up and you guys are sad because y'all gonna have to pay a lot of money to buy these again when you guys could have bought them when they were sitting you know so make sure if you guys really feeling these from this picture from this video um watch more videos we'll see more pictures make sure you guys like it then go ahead and cop it don't sleep guys it's a pretty decent shoe a seven for me and yeah thank you guys for stopping by watch my video it's sneakers and chris and i'll catch you guys in the next one